I think we're on. Oh, there we go. What up, guys? All right, we are live. All right, so I'm here to answer all you guys' questions. And what's up, Gillivan, Jennifer, Sid, all you guys. Oh, we got some requests, huh? All right. So let's talk about tonight's episode or whatever else questions you guys have on any other episodes. <laughs> What's up, guys? A lot of highs, a lot of olas, a lot of haze. Um, I guess we can start off with tonight's episode is going to be a little crazy. Um, we have quite a few flashbacks. We have an Afghanistan flashback. We have a couple of flashbacks for uh, the family. You know, Eddie's mom and dad, Eddie's deceased wife. Oh, here we go. We got another question. Who's your favorite 911 character? Mm, goes between Hen and Chimney. Uh, what's your favorite episode? Mm. Thus far, it's probably got to be either Hen's or Chimney's Begins. Both of those episodes were fantastic, phenomenally done, beautifully directed. Uh, obviously, the actors themselves are incredible. This uh, this episode finna be fire. Yeah, yes, yes, it is literally. Um, what's your favorite season? My favorite season, probably this season actually, season three. Uh, let me turn off this buzzing. I know you guys saw me last time buzzing around and stuff, letting people text me and whatnot. What's your favorite couple? Um. Uh, my favorite couple probably has to be Karen and Hen, more than likely, actually. I, I love the way they interact with each other. Nicole, I already know you're on live, so stop texting me. Do I miss playing Shauna Sa? On my step up, man, I miss all my step up days. I miss hanging out with the mob. I miss hanging out with everybody and just having a reason or excuse to dance all the time. I remember my. One of my favorite memories actually ever is to take over Miami and just dance three months straight. Uh, hello from Argentina. All right, there we go. Is Eddie going to dance? I'm sure if you guys requested enough, then Tim, my near, hear you. He'll hear you. Hello from Bakersfield. What up, North Cal? Well, kind of North Cal. It's mid Cal, but what up, Bakersfield? Hmm. Favorite episode to shoot this season is definitely Eddie Begins, which is going to be shown tonight. Um, we did a lot of things that incorporate certain training tactics that I learned outside of acting. Um, a lot of military tactics, a lot of a lot of different ways to shoot. What have I been up to recently? Um, well, I've been up to a lot actually. Uh, a lot of writing. Trying to work on my own scripts, my own movies, my own ideas, uh, making different kind of music. Actually, y'all are in my office. There's the mic right there. And that's actually the uniform I wore in Eddie Begins. So luckily, I was gifted with that thanks to uh, our producer. Hola, Venezuela. Uh, let's see what else we got. Is this show's episode based on real life events? I think every episode is kind of taken from real life. Uh, I do believe Tim does his, Tim and Neil were talking about the showrunner. Um, he takes, you know, this very seriously and he, he researches and, and goes throughout the, you know, news articles and, and pieces together certain things. So I'm sure there's plenty of things uh, that are real about tonight's episode. Why you, why, why did you decide to be an actor? All right, I'm going to be real with you. I decided to be an actor because it paid more than fighting. And I hated modeling, to be honest. So uh, acting was a way out. And through acting, actually, I learned a lot about myself. A lot of introspection happened. Um, you know, empathizing for other characters and, and uh, learning a lot about myself. Love the show. Chaparita, thank you. Thank you. Buck and Eddie are such a dynamic duel. I agree. I do agree. Which character do you think has the best backstory? 
it's hard to not be biased and say Eddie, but uh, each each backstory is compelling. I mean, Athena's was the last one we saw, and that was pretty amazing. I mean, to see how her, her love died and she had to continue with her life. That was pretty cool. Love watching you and Gavin. The relationship, uh, relationship seems very organic. Yes, I mean, Gavin... If you, for you guys that don't know, uh, Gavin, Christopher's real name is Gavin. Gavin is just one of the most special kids you'll ever meet in your entire life. Uh, such a bright future for him. He's a better actor than me, ten million times fold. Uh, leave the live on replay, please. I can't watch right now. Well, whoever's in charge of this after I get off, I'll, I'll let them know. Um. Are Eddie and Buck, what's his back? Are Eddie and Buck a couple? Buck, I'm guessing. Um, we are not a couple. Uh, we are definitely brothers, best friends. Um, I know y'all like to speculate and, and make something there, uh, which we appreciate. I mean, we love all the love, so uh, we ain't here to turn anything down. Brazil. You know, I got a special place for Brazil in my heart. My kid's Brazilian. What is your favorite? Who is your favorite character? I think I already touched upon that, but uh, it goes between Hen and Chimney. We got a lot of Brazil in here. Hell yeah. All right. There we go. Just a kid. <laughs> Just a kiss between Oliver and I. Mmm. We'll see what Tim writes. <laughs> Eddie's the best character. Thank you so much. I do appreciate the love more than you guys know. Mexico. Yeah, there we go. Got some Mexicans in here. Any plans on doing another horror movie like The Cleaning Hour? The Cleansing Hour? Yes. So The Cleansing Hour is something I'm very proud of. That's another project I was on right before I got on to 911. It's been taking a little bit of time to get it out and, um, you know, see who wants to, to watch it. But I do believe we're going to be on a streaming platform very soon. And I'll be pumping that out so everybody can watch that. Are you going to sing on this show? Uh, they had something for me in the beginning to sing a little. Um, it was a karaoke, but I think it was it was given to uh, Aisha, who plays Hen. And Aisha is... A trillion times better than I am. Uh, my kids love 911. Thank you. I'm glad that we got just different age ranges between, you know, kids to adults like in this show. Is it hard to film 911? Sometimes. You know, sometimes they have us dangling off a cliff. Other times they have us dangling off of fire trucks as they're going 30 miles an hour. Other times, I mean, we're just having fun let's see we need buddy buddy's already here what are you talking about we need buddy we need buddy we got buddy what's your favorite vegetable uh potato or vegetable because i love potatoes Will we ever meet eddie's sister at least learn their names we met we got the chance to meet eddie's sister a couple times our two sisters actually we got a younger and a, a middle sister um I think they're great actresses, too. I would love to bring them back. Who knows? You know, this kind of episode that we're showing tonight kind of is a little different than all the other episodes that we've done previously. It's a little, uh, I don't know how to say it, but it, it's, it's got so much into it. Um, I mean, we, we shot down a helicopter. That's, that shows you how big it is. But, you know, if they ever decide to dive a little deeper into D, uh, the Diaz story, then yeah, we gotta we gotta show the sisters, we gotta show the whole family dynamic. When's the last time you spoke to Oliver? I spoke to him a couple days ago, actually. When I when I cut my hair and and I uh, did the old bald head thing, I invited him to join me on this side. So that was the last time I I talked to him. Lone Star 911 crossover thoughts. I'm here. I'm all for it. I mean, my character is based, you know, he comes out of Texas. So it's, it's only natural to say that maybe I, you know, I link up with them guys when I'm hanging out with my family or, or whatnot. 
Will Lone Star Cast and I Won't Cast come together and cross paths? Like I just said, I hope it happens. I mean, they're a good show. We're a good show. We, we'll see. Give us back the long hair. I know you guys love the long hair. Um, I'll let you know. I did this right here for me. This this feels good. And uh, when it's time to shoot again, I'll take it into consideration. You know, getting back the long hair. I know uh, the showrunner and a bunch of other people liked it too. So, oh my gosh, I forgot about Abby. Ooh, well. I'd love to tell you a little something that happens sometime within this season that Abby might, I don't know, come back. Um, seriously, why did you get rid of the season two hair? Y'all really like the hair. Uh, the long hair is the, the better one, huh? Oh, we got some buzz cut likes, too. Um, 911 has made me want to become a police officer or a firefighter. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, I hope to follow those dreams, please, because we need more first responders. We need, you know, really good people with the badges doing good things. Greetings from the Caribbean. We got Caribbean in here. Wow. OK. Oh, why isn't 911 season two on Hulu? Uh, I, I'm going to have to defer to that question. I don't know. Abby better stay away from Buck and let Buddy happen. <laughs> Abby got to kick rocks. Sorry, Abby. You've been replaced by Eddie. Uh, what's the best thing about working on 911? Best thing about working on 911 is the cast and the crew. I love those people, all of them. Um, Aisha is my sister. I love her to death. We always have some good conversations. Obviously, Oliver and, and Kenny are, and, and Peter are some really cool ass guys. We hang out all the time um, when we're not even filming. You know, we'll, we'll visit each other on our uh, our days off or we'll, uh, uh, you know, just show up in each other's trailer, to be honest. But everybody gets along. Obviously, Angela Bassett is one of the most, you know, dope people you ever meet in your life. How many tattoos do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I got five tattoos and more to come. Um... Buck is mine. Ooh, okay. That seems like a little possessive to me. You can have him if you really want him like that. You and Buck are the best bromance ever. All right, there we go. We get shared now. Uh, can I pass a real fireman's physical? Challenge me in any little thing, and uh, I'm going to say yes. Even if I, I can't do it, I'm going to train until I can. Um, what's my favorite tattoo? Uh, I mean, all my tattoos kind of like helped me out through most of my life. Um, they're pretty meaningful. Uh, each one, you know, was very specific and a hard time and that I went through in my life. But the one that's, that stayed the longest, you know, uh, is probably this guy right here. You guys don't get to see it on uh, 911. It's my grandfather's last words to me. Uh, and they were work hard. So, you know, just trying to do that. But other than that, this one says forever right here on my hand. Uh, that one gets covered up, too, for the TV show. Mm, that one's got probably the most special meaning out of all of them. Do you like to bike? I mean, if we're talking BMX, stuff like that. Yeah, I love biking. But if we're talking about motorcycles and stuff, I got to learn from my girl. My girl's more badass than that than, than I am. Invite Oliver. I love to. If if Oliver is watching right now, which more than likely he's either on Twitter or Instagram, show up, Oliver. I need to learn how to add you onto this, but give the fans what they want. Top three favorite music artists. Oof. I know when I was younger, it was Usher. It was all about Usher, you know. I, I wanted to serenade the ladies. Uh, but, you know, I also had the other side. You, Mac Dre was my... My my guy for like the longest time when I was growing up, you know that that uh, Bay Area love. Uh, what do you and Eddie have in common? Uh, we have actually quite a bit in common. I mean, I'm definitely not a single father. I do have a lot of help from my significant other. Um, but as far as 
not being a person to really open up too much on his feelings, uh, I'm pretty close to that. What do you love most about Eddie? Uh, that he's very family oriented and how much his son means to him and that he's a very hard worker. Bay Area stand up. What up? Um, what's your favorite thing to paint? Uh, I like I like scenic stuff. So I like, you know, um, when the cast went out to Big Bear, we, we I painted the, uh, the mountains of Big Bear and and all the snow and trees. Um, I like doing random long drives and just pulling over to the side, taking pictures of uh, the scenery, the the sky and everything, and then painting it on later, uh, painting it later on. Yes, you seem to be a lot like your character, Eddie. Yeah, we we dress different. And I mean, technically, I was born in Texas. I was just raised in Sacramento. Um, so we got we got a lot of similarities. I mean, he, he liked to fight. I love fighting. Uh, I didn't join the military, but I always wanted to. What's the best Eddie Diaz line out there? Ooh, um... I don't know. You guys tell me. I can't remember all those lines. It's so hard to remember everything. How has being a father changed you with Gavin, Christopher? It's interesting to actually think about that because season two is when I found out um, I was going to have a little baby boy. And I didn't know what that was going to entail. And then season three, my, my boy was here. And um, Mateo, which is my son's name forever changed my perspective on everything and, and actually looking in the mirror changed the most you know I, I got to see the real Ryan and and see what he's got to you know change wait is Oliver in here Oliver's here where you at bro I heard you're sending for me yeah man come on bro uh go live with Oliver start yeah okay welcome go live with Oliver start all right. Now I'm just waiting on Ollie. You guys are getting a two for one special. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe he's busy. I think he might be busy. I tried to add him. But I think he might be doing something. Yeah. You know what? Well, well uh, Oliver says his, his best wishes. He loves everybody. Um, he's probably busy. Uh, there's no way he wouldn't want to hop on here and, and not talk to you guys without a good reason. So don't, don't be going after him. Uh, <laughs> bro, why is it glitching out so bad? Uh, I don't know. My, I got full service here. So damn, you got a petition, Ali. Sorry, bro. <laughs> you got everything guessing from doing plants to being in the bathroom. Um, Y'all have any more questions for tonight's episode or uh, previous episodes or what would you guys like to see um, next season now that we, we know we're renewed? He said he's laying in bed. Hi, mijo. Hi, mijo. My son's waving to me. What's up, guys? Um... Where did you guys see he was laying in bed? <laughs> All right, now I'm getting a lot of requests from other people to join the live. All right, so what do we got? We got, um, what was your favorite part to film for tonight's episode? Ooh, my favorite part probably has to be all the action stuff. I mean, it'd be hard not to say that. Shooting the guns, you know, uh, doing the, the actual tactics they use in the military. Um, and just getting dirty. Yeah, that's that's my thing. I love, if I could turn into an action star tomorrow, I would. Can't wait to see the night's episode. I can't wait to show you guys. What's your favorite scene to film on 911 Season 2? Um, 
911 season two. Uh, I, I like the dramatic stuff. So I like the stuff with uh, Shannon. Everything that we did, you know, Eddie and, and Shannon, uh, I was all about. Who's your inspiration in real life and on the show? Uh, my fellow cast members right now, they push me to different levels. And, and thank God for them because there's been plenty of times where I've second guessed my acting and then they, they straighten me out and tell me what I need to work on. Um, so it's a lot of give and take. But as far as inspiration in general, Bruce Lee has probably been my biggest inspiration. I read all his books. I've you know seen all the documentaries. Uh, the guy was a poet at heart. But, uh, yeah, he, he definitely straightened my life out in, in a lot of different ways. <clears throat> um, hardest scene for me to do. Uh, it was probably um, when Shannon passed away. When Shannon passed away, when there was a lot of emotions, and uh, at that point in time, I usually don't think too far back into my life to get to that that place. But for some reason, that specific time, I thought back into a, a certain place in my life that that brought me to tears, and that was pretty hard. Okay, we got a bunch of, wait, hold up. Uh, do you think I have a chance with Angela Bassett as my girlfriend? <laughs> Get at Angela. I mean, she's happily married. I tell you what, you can't take something that's not yours. So, mm, funny takes where cast messed up on lines. Oh, we mess up on lines all the time, actually. We, we constantly make fun of, actually, uh, Kenny Choi, because there was one specific day where uh, they sprung just a massive amount of dialogue on him, and it was hard for anybody to get that down. But he tried to get it down as best as he could, and he kept on forgetting certain parts, and he just started screaming out, what is it? So we, we, we say that every now and then and make fun of him. Happy birthday, uh, Miss, Mr. Corbelli, Miss Corbelli. I can't read that one. It already right, went past. We need the bloopers. I want the bloopers, man. I think the bloopers are actually – you know, the best thing about our show, and we got a lot of them. What's your favorite scene between Buck and Eddie? Uh, we've had a lot of good, really, really good scenes between Buck and Eddie. You know, I always like it when we were either at his place or my place. Um, but I also think the beginning scene, the first scene that we ever had together was really good, um, uh, which was in the gym, I believe. Um What's your favorite thing you've ever done? We're talking about acting wise. I don't know if I have a favorite thing. I have a lot of fun things I've done through acting. Um, but it's hard as an actor because you're always seeing what you're not doing right. And you're always trying to get better. So I'm the worst person to ask about that. Loved you and Gem and the Holograms. Oh, man. If Kenny had an Instagram, he'd make fun of me right now. Um Thank you for loving Gem and the Holograms. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like the singing a little bit. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything, singing and dancing. What type of rescue would you like to see happen in season four? I'm pitching to go to London or pitching to go across the, the pond, do something, you know, have the Team 118 save a, a bunch of Italians or uh, Spaniards. Or I don't know. But in light of recent events, I don't think we're going nowhere. You speak Portuguese. I do not speak Portuguese, but I do understand a little bit of the words. My fiance is trying to teach me, uh, you know, abrigado, like stuff like that. But I still say it with a, 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 La a Mexican accent. Um, what is quarantine doing to your mental health? Is it better or worse? Better. A lot better. This quarantine has been the biggest blessing I could have ever asked for. It made me stay inside, actually, you know, do the responsibilities that I've been putting off for too long. And, um, again, look at myself in the mirror, see what I need to work on, see what I actually, you know, have been avoiding. You can come to Ireland. I'd love to come to Ireland. I think a little bit of my family's from, uh, from Ireland on my mom's side. Do you have to... Yo, you're Mexican. Oh my God, how much? How awesome! Yeah, well, I'm Mexican. I'm Mexican American. I'm very, very proud of that. Um, 
colombianas aquí I'm from Colombia seen half the third season I do not know if there are many more chapters going on we had half of the third season then we stopped for a little bit and then we're, we're coming back to finish out the rest of this third season we need a Maddie and Eddie scene I don't know if anybody really uh, uh, knew the fact that actually Maddie and Eddie were initially supposed to be the, the couple. And um, I'm so glad, actually, and this has nothing to do, you know, any problems or any issues. But uh, I'm so glad the way it worked out, it worked out because Maddie and Chimney fit and I love their relationship. I love the way they feed off each other. They're incredible actors. So, uh uh, I think it's a better service to to, to give Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, Kenny Choi as her love interest. I think there ever would be a COVID-19 related episode. If it's done tasteful, I see it happening. You know, I, I don't see um, us trying to uh, profit off of, you know, pain. So if it's done tasteful, I'm sure Tim and, you know, whoever else is writing, it, it, they'll try it. How did you get on the show? Like, what was the process? Uh, prayers. <laughs> a lot of prayers. I, the, how I got on the show was random. Um, it's never happened to me in my life before. Uh, I was signing up to do a movie. And at that time, I had done one or two auditions uh, here and there. And one of the auditions I did was for another TV show on Fox that ended up not going. Uh, but whoever at Fox, the higher ups that, that saw my audition tape and that I saw that I tested for them, uh, must have liked it and found me a spot um, on 911 Fox. Thank God. And when I got that call, the life changed. How did you? OK, what else we got? Oliver's trying to get back on the live, says it's not working. Where y'all see that? Like, I'm not seeing any of that stuff. Oliver saying Oliver said it's not working. Is he hitting you guys up? Because I can't see none of this. Maybe I'll invite him again. Ollie, hop back on, bro. And I'll invite you again. But um, have you seen Grey's Anatomy? I think my mom watches that show. Um Oliver's tweeting that he can't join. He said this is on Twitter. It's on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is exploding. Uh, all right. Bro, what's going on? I'm still frozen. Tell him to turn it on. Are you religious? Uh, I believe in God. I feel like a lot of people believe in God and just different versions of God. So... Not to get too too in that kind of topic, but if if God is saving your your life, you know, embrace Him. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna end this live real quick. I'm gonna join right back up again. People are complaining that it's it's frozen or it's not working too well. So let me try this out real quick. I'll be right back, guys. All right. Here we go. Back on. <clears throat> All right. Everybody's saying it's working now. Damn, those numbers are climbing. Wow. Okay. Have you seen Supernatural? I, I don't really watch too much TV. I know. Um... We hop on the Netflix every now and then, but we're busy parents, man. We got a schedule around our kid. Um, can you tell us anything about the finale? I can tell you that it involves a train, and I can tell you that a certain individual from last season will be making another appearance. What are your thoughts on 911 Lone Star? Hey, it's working again, not looking in. Okay, got you. Um... Hey, Ollie does send all his love and everything. Um, I think 
what we'll do at this point in time is he'll do his own live. Uh, I think he's live tweeting actually the episode. Um, you know, he's definitely, he, he loves all you guys. So, uh, we'll just do that on a separate time. Are we getting more Diaz Buckley family scenes? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. There's always going to be those scenes. I mean, I, I like that whole dynamic. I like, yeah. It's five in the morning over there. Damn, I couldn't. Thank you guys so much. Slovakia in the building. Wow. España, gracias. New York, we got everybody. Are you or Eddie left-handed? You wear a watch on the right hand. So I'm left-handed. Um, kind of ambidextrous, I found out later on in life. Uh, but uh, I guess I say more left-handed. You could pick a theme song for Eddie. What would it be? What would you pick? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably pick something stupid and funny. Italia. All right, nice. We got Italy in the building. Um, Sweden's here too. Very nice. Okay, Norway. We got Manila. Dang, Holland. Wait, I'm kind of lost. How many episodes until season three ends? I believe this is 14, so we got four more episodes. Gracias, Costa Rica. Uh, Wisconsin. We got Canada. Albania. We are the UN in here. We got San Diego. Texas. Of course, Brazil. Ooh, Jalisco. There we go. Bienvenidos, Jalisco. This is my familia. Uh, marry me, Saudi Arabia. All right. Thank you for staying up for me. All right, cool. I think it's Dikirana. I'm sorry if I jacked up your name. Mas Mexico. There we go. Germany. Much love from Dubai. Utah. Hablas algo in Portuguese. Uh, I wish I could, man. Fomeguinho. Like, I know how to say ant. I know how to say... <laughs> it's like small little things, man. I, I wish I could. I'll practice it with my girl and, and get back to you. Atlanta, Georgia. I love Atlanta. I was out there filming a couple years ago. I love it. Argentina in the building. Australia. Portugal. Man. All right. So anybody else got any more questions? Um, I'm here to answer them. Uh, let's see what time it is. Let's see how long I'm going to go for. Uh, I'll probably go for another, let's say, 2.15. 2.15, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to go right back to reposting a lot of uh, the stories that are a lot, uh, that our first responders have been sending in. So please, now that I got everybody's attention, um, please inform any first responders that you may know, or if you're a first responder yourself, um, post it on your story with the hashtag share your story and then tag 911 Fox or 911 on Fox. And uh, we'll repost, we'll reshare on, on this page so everybody sees it. Who's, who, who's the guest star on number one and what role would they play? Who would you like to guest star on number one and what role would they play? Man, we got really good guest stars, actually. Um, I've been very impressed with the people that we've gotten and the talent that we've gotten. Um, but I don't know who, who would I ask for. What would I, what would advice, what advice would I give to an aspiring actor? Don't quit. Work hard, don't quit, because honestly, talent means this much here. I'm proof of that. <laughs> but uh, honestly, uh, you know, for a person that never wanted to become an actor that found this opportunity, and thank God he did, um, all I knew that I, I could do was just work my butt off and uh, just continue to learn and grow as much as I possibly could. So for all those actors out there that are trying to come out to LA or wherever you guys are trying to make movies or TV shows, um, Always be working on something. Never give yourself a reason or excuse to stop. If you can't download scripts, you know, do what I did when I was in the beginning, which is just write them on a uh, paper. 
um, and, and get to work. What are your thoughts on Eddie potentially dating his son's teacher? Uh, I'm mixed about that because personally, I think the whole um, deceased wife should hit Eddie a little harder. Uh, but then again, um, who knows? Who knows? Would you want to be a firefighter in real life after playing one on TV? I love the brotherhood, the family atmosphere. Um, it's not even just a brotherhood because we got sisters in here too. But uh, yeah, I love... I love the way firefighters interact with each other and really have each other's back. So, yeah, I mean, in a different life, I would have definitely become a firefighter. Okay, what else we got? Where am I from? I'm from Sacramento. So I was born in Texas, Abilene, Texas, but I was only there for about a year and a half because my dad was in the Air Force. Um, and I moved to Sactown. Uh Shortly after that, and I was raised for most of my life there. What's your biggest difference from working on a film opposed to working on a television show? Just time. You know, TV is is a, a beast. Um, you know, we get our scripts all at the same time sometimes, and sometimes we don't have enough time to really, you know, dive into the character. We kind of just have to go for it and... It's a uh, really fast pace, and we do a lot. We try to fit a lot into a small schedule, um, and we're working very hard, 12 to 14-hour days, you know, six days sometimes out of the week. So uh, you don't really do that much with TV, I mean, with movies. Movies, you have the opportunity to really dive into the character, do your research, you know, figure out what parts mean more to you than, you know, not, and uh, uh, what you really need to dive into. Which one do you like doing better, movies or shows? Like I said, they both offer a little different. I mean, the security I get with this TV show and the opportunity I get with this TV show is is incredible. Uh, so thank God for 911. Uh, it's forever changed my life in the most positive way. Um, that being said, I I love my movies. I love my movies. I love you know trying to just try different characters and do different things. I want to play a bad guy. I want to go back to playing a bad guy. I think um, The Boy Next Door was the last time I played a real, real bad guy. Am I still in contact with Tyler Hecklin? Oh, yeah. I mean, Tyler Hecklin, he's, he's doing his thing. He always does his thing. We lived together, actually, for a year. I don't know if anybody really knows that. Um, but, yeah, he was, he was living with me and, and one of my other friends. Uh, and then... When we went our spe our separate ways, he uh he I think he got a place in Paris or something. I don't know. He's he's always traveling though. You bring a hell of a character performance to nine one one. Thank you so much. Honestly, um, as a person that really is hard on themselves, I, I don't get an opportunity to to really enjoy my character. So your guys' feedback does help a lot, and I hope that you guys like it. Uh, never seen the boy next door before. You don't have to. I mean, it's not a requirement here. Um, if you want to, be like every other movie that I've been into. Be naked. Do I need a haircut? Nah, I'll fade myself. If you could have played a different character, who would you have chose? If we're talking about 911. Um... I don't know. I mean, I think the character is pretty specific. I couldn't really play Chimney. Couldn't really play Hen. So uh, what else? I, I could play Buck. Um, I could play Maddie's brother. That'd be interesting. Flip the roles. Let's see Ali's best version on trying to be Mexicano. Are you and all of her best friends in real life? We're really good friends. I love the fuck out of that dot. Ooh, love the... You know what I'm saying. He's a good guy. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, we love Eddie. Thank you so much for him. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what's your favorite part of doing the show? I said it earlier, but it's the cast and crew. I love hanging out with them. They make the days, the long days go by quicker. And uh, they don't get enough credit. But man, we got some hardworking people. I need some answers, please. Why do they cover your tattoos and not Oliver's? 
I was told that these were a little bit too much. Um, I don't know. If y'all think it's a good look, then right in. Because I would love to not sit in that chair and get these things covered every single day. Is Fight Club your favorite movie? 1,000%. Yeah. Lion King, my favorite movie as a, as a kid. Fight Club, my favorite movie as an adult. Um, your point, per, uh, when Eddie was pissed, your performance was amazing. Man, I, I love the love. Thank you. What role would you like Mateo to see you in? Oof. Uh, probably this one. Probably 911. Um, I don't know what happens in the future, but, uh, something grounded. Something really nice, and I think this is it. I would like to, I, I don't know if I want Mateo really uh, watching Daddy. Because <laughs> a lot of my movies, like I said, have a lot of nudity in them. Fight Club, yeah, we love Fight Club. Your friendship with Oliver makes me so happy. Guzman. Um, do you have contact with the actor that plays Christopher? I don't have contact with him. That'd be a little awkward because he is young, young. Uh, I do have contact with the the family. Um, the family is incredible. I believe his sister actually was just out in um, I think Italy or somewhere, somewhere in Europe actually shooting the Eternals. So that is a talented family, our talent full family. Um, Buck begins. We've been talking about that actually. You guys can settle something for us. Is the first season? Uh, pretty much a buck begins or do you guys really want to see him back in the you know navy trying to be a navy seal because i'm sure they'll write it if you guys want it <laughs> you've actually smashed it as eddie i can't wait for the night show man yeah again it means so much to me thank you do you have a pet i do have a pet i have two dogs i have one tiny little Toy Poodle, uh, who, if y'all want, you can have, because he, you don't want him inside your house. And then I have a big dog, a um, little lab mix. Uh, his name's Leo. Do I want to visit Portugal? Of course I want to visit, visit Portugal. Yeah, I want to visit everywhere. Everybody's saying we want to bug begins. Okay, well, I'll talk to the higher ups, and I'm sure Oliver's seeing this right now. He'll definitely talk to the higher ups, and let's get it done. I probably won't be in Buck Begins unless I'm at the very end of that, so that'll give me a couple of weeks off. So I'm all for it. How's quarantining with my quarantining with my family? I love this time I'm spending with my son and my girl. My relationship has never been stronger. I've never loved my girl as much as I do now uh, or have been able to appreciate her as much as I do now. And my son is just, I have never had this time with him nor seen an individual grow the way he's growing. Being a first time father, this is time that I'll, I'll never get back and I, I'm just relishing in it. Next time go live with Oliver, please. Man, I tried to. Wanna play Fortnite? JK, I don't play Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite either. My brother does. Uh, every now and then I'll get on, on Call of Duty and do that Warzone. Oh, that's wonderful. So happy for you, Nick. All right. We're coming up on 2.15. I got one more minute and then I'm going to probably head out, guys. Uh, what was the fight scene process? Okay, a little thing that people don't really know about the fight scenes. Um, and I probably shouldn't be spilling this anyways, but it was a big hit for me. Uh, I was so amped and so juiced to, to, you know, show off MMA skills and, and, and what I've been training, uh, for past 20 something years now. And come to find out within the first couple of takes, I cut my foot on, on the cage and I was bleeding all over the place. I tried to continue. I didn't realize obviously. And then I was told to go to the ER, got stitches. And from that moment on, I couldn't really do any of the fighting. So 
Unfortunately, there was maybe one take I did where I actually fought, and the rest of it was somebody else. Okay, so I'm starting to see that you guys definitely, you guys definitely want to see Eddie dance. You you definitely want to see Eddie sing. I think y'all want to see me dance a little bit more than sing, to be honest. Um, but when my music comes out, maybe hmm, I don't know. All right, guys. So it's two sixteen now. Um, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to everybody. I had a great time talking to y'all. I hope. I answer most of your questions. Um, if not, I'm sure there'll be another opportunity and we'll do this live thing again. So love you guys. See you guys tonight. Enjoy the show tonight. And again, first responders, send me those videos so we can reshare. All right. Love and love. Bye.